Hi friends, today we're going to be creating an SVG using simple images that we find on the internet that we like. Download this image and you can follow along. Let's go ahead and open up the windows that we need to use. We're going to use trace bitmap. Go to object, open up layers and objects. And also in objects, open up fill and stroke. All right, so these are the three we're going to use. And let's select our image and go to trace bitmap. We're going to click single scan and we're going to go on brightness cutoff. So we want to adjust our threshold. All right, mine is at about 0.564. <clears throat> and apply. Come over here to your image and click and drag. Okay, so here's our original image and here's our new SVG image. <clears throat> now let's come up to path and click break apart. Let's go to layers and objects. All of this is this image. So let's go ahead and control G. <clears throat> We're going to group this together just so that we don't get it confused. Hold control and scroll your mouse wheel up and you can zoom in. <clears throat> let's select our node and let's select this, this one down here. <clears throat> we can go ahead and delete this. If you hold shift and select all of these little pieces and hit delete. We can move this out of the way and we see that we have all of these different pieces. Okay, so let's put that back, control Z. So this, if you wanna rename it, you can. And this is just gonna renamed as background. And let's drag the background to the bottom. And the next one is the moon. Okay, so we want to color that yellow. So let's come up to fill and stroke. Grab your dropper tool and click on the yellow color. Go back to layers and objects. And if you want to rename this, you can name it moon. And we'll drag that down and put it right over the background. And now we selected our next path and it's the little moon here, and that's gonna be yellow. So we'll go to fill and stroke, grab our dropper, select the yellow color, and layers and objects. And then select the next path underneath it, and this is the little dot, and we can go ahead and delete that. What we're gonna do is select our image, trace bitmap, and what we wanna see is some outline. So you have to just play with the mouse wheel. I think that looks good. And let's apply that and drag your image over. Select path, break apart. Let's go to layers and objects. Now everything is selected. So let's go ahead and group it together with control G. The first one is usually the black background. And if you're not sure, you can select it and move it. So now you see we have the background and then all of our little pieces. All right, Control Z is gonna put that back. I'm gonna rename that background. And I'm gonna drag it down to the bottom. And then our next piece, if you're not sure what it is, you can just drag it off to the side. So this is the belly. Control Z to put it back. So let's go to fill and stroke. Select your color dropper. And, and this space, this is supposed to be an empty space. See over here, there's nothing there. So this one is a little bit different. What we're gonna do is hold control and select our background. So this is where it comes in handy to name your path layers so that you know which one you're working with. Then we're gonna go up to path and select difference. And now it took away that, so now we have that blank space there.
this is going to be an empty space. So what we want to do is have our path selected, hold control and select background, select path and difference. And then we can delete this. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is hold down control and select the rest of these and hit delete. There's a few things that we don't have, like the blue outline here. We don't have the little round circles here, the circles here for the cheeks. You can definitely go back and add that stuff if you want to. I mean, this looks good like it is, but let's say you really wanted to add the blue. What we can do is come back to the eye. You can select the eye and hit Control D. Now you've duplicated that eye. 
we want to drag it down underneath the eyes. We want it to be the bottom layer. Okay, <clears throat> now what we're going to do is change that color to this blue. Then we're going to come up to Object. Then we're going to come up to Path and select Dynamic Offset and select our Nodes tool. Then you can zoom in <clears throat> where this little diamond is. You just want to drag this up slowly. Boom, there you go. Okay, so now you have the blue outline. So let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, come back and grab your selector tool. Select your other circle. Control D for duplicate. Go into your layers and objects and drag this eye underneath all of the eye layers. So now you see that naming these layers really comes in handy. <clears throat> okay, we want to change the color to blue. Select your node tool, path, dynamic offset. Look for the little diamond up here and just drag it up and it's going to make that circle bigger. And select our tool again. If you really want to put these circles in, an easy way it would be <clears throat> Come over here and grab one of these little foot pads, control D for duplicate, and drag it over here. Then select your nodes tool, zoom in, and just kind of reshape this a little bit. And you can turn it. and control D, duplicate it, and just drag it over here. Okay, <clears throat> we'll take the same ones. You can make them a little bit bigger if we want to. And let's hit control D, duplicate that, and we're going to come up here to the cheeks. We'll rotate these a little bit. Control D. And place it right there. All right, so even the things that we didn't have, we easily added those back in. Now these don't look good. <clears throat> They're not the right size or shape. So. What I'm going to do is grab it, I'm going to drag it over here and resize it over this one to make sure I have the right size. Okay, that's good. That's better. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's drag that back over here. And then I'll just delete this one, grab this one, control D and move it right there. Okay, that's, that looks better. So that didn't take long. Now we have another SVG file and this one is a little bit more complex. Now if something that's harder to do is add shading so that may be something you have to go in and add separately. If you're not really concerned about the shading, then this is a perfectly good, quick way to just grab an image from the internet and make a quick SVG file. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.